Disney. Bubba. Bubba. Hey, Bubba. You want to go to Disney? Yeah? I'm gonna share it. What, can you hold it up so you can see? It, it has a trailer with our box. Lights and no, no. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We are, well, I am trying to get a jump start on the day. We've got a slight issue. I'm leaving the RV park right now. We're parked right next to the, uh, next to the dealership. Hopefully, they can get us in today. I'm gonna try to get there right at 8 o'clock. Talk to their service guys and see if we can get back on the road. If they can't get us back on the road pretty quick, I'm gonna try to go ahead and replace the motor myself. But uh, we shall see. Wish me luck. spoke with Chip by far the nicest team um, an RV dealership I've ever met told them our issue we're part of the priority RV network um, due to being out of state it escalates us or whatever um, so it's 8 o'clock right now he said bring back the rig at 11 348 headed back to Giant Recreation World in Winter Garden, Florida. Just got a call from Chip over there in the service department and he said the unit's ready. So. We're at the Brooksville Raid today, which is a Civil War reenactment. This is our homeschool today. You excited? Huh? Homeschool field trip. Commemorates the raid. It's called the Brooksville Raid. The Union troops landed at Bayport. There were approximately 250 Union troops. And they were on a search, basically a search and destroy mission. And they swept across, basically where State Road 50 is now, they swept across and they killed or captured all the Confederates that they came across, burned supplies or took the supplies with them, um, and then they moved towards 41 and headed south, like towards Tampa. Um, and it was basically just as, like it says, raid. The reenactment shows you the tactics that they would have used.
is about a ton. And that's considered small. Uh, it's required six horses to pull and 16 guys. Uh, and that's because each person kind of has their own little job. And they each have a very small set of tools. So when everybody's doing the right thing, it's kind of like a choreographed dance. So they don't have to think. It's all muscle memory. Um, and a well trained crew can fire three aim shots in a minute. That's, that's pretty cool. So all these steps that they do here. Young man, you, you ever seen a you ever seen a rifled musket? Yes. Seen that? I have. Just what they used back then. Uh, this this is a Springfield, and uh, as with any firearm, you always want to make sure it's unloaded first, right? So how would you do that since they only put stuff down the barrel right there? What you do is you drop it and you listen for a distinctive ping like that. And that was because when they, they, their uh, ammunition came in little paper cartridges and they had to be able to tear the cartridge to get to the powder to put down the barrel. So. Stethoscope, listen to your heart. This is the tooth key. Wrap this right around the tooth like that and twist. We're, we're, we're really getting into the experience here. They want to build a tent, build a fire, cook dinner. They're collectors. Sure do. <laughs> what you guys doing over here? Oh. Yay. Did you get it down there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's called the promotion. And this one here is the Mandingo Overseer.
angle over here. Snake and a manatee, maybe? Do you see him? Do you see the manatee?